Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And I'm here today, I just wanna talk about some of the things that you can learn at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, some of the things you can learn in our webinars, the types of questions that we get sent in to our curated Q&A. So if you haven't been on one of our webinars before, our curated Q&A means that you can email us a question and not only do we answer it during the webinar, but we give you a slide or sometimes multiple slides with the answer. Sometimes it's a demonstration, sometimes it's a graphic that you can use at home to just like answer your question a little more thoroughly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read off some of the questions that we had and then some of the ways that we've answered it or some of the things that we will be answering in some of our upcoming webinars. So here we go. Um, so we get a question like this quite a bit, um, which is how do you teach a dog to move looking forward because the dogs often look up at you when you're going around the ring or on the stack how do I teach my dog to not look at me, not pay too much attention to me? Um, so one of the things that we do a lot, we use a lot in Leading Edge Dog Show Academy is target training. We actually have an upcoming webinar on target training and this is very, very useful if you have any breed that as you're going around the ring or on the down and back is looking up at you. Sometimes they're throwing their front around when they do that. They're sidewinding because they do it. Target training can really help with this. So we give you all the methods of target training. We give you a schedule on what you can do. And this is, target training is also fantastic for any dog that you uh, wanna have stacked and then on the stack you want them looking forward or arching their neck and not looking at you. For poodles or other breeds that you stand way back behind them and the dog continually turns and looks at you, how do you make them look forward? Well, target training is the answer. So if you want to know a little bit more about target training, some of the things that we teach around it, I invite you to take a look at that webinar. And then another question that we get is, um, when I'm stacking my dog, how can I tell if the back legs are placed properly? Um, I, you know, often the handler thinks that they're placed properly and then they watch a video of themselves or they see a photo and they realize that they haven't. So one of the things that we suggest for things like this is practicing in front of a mirror. So at home, buy yourself a cheap mirror, have it set up somewhere where you have a non-slip surface in front of it, and you can just continually stack your dog there. And this is important because we at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, we want you to know how your dog feels when it looks absolutely perfect. And the only way to do this in real time is to do it right in front of a mirror. The other thing that we teach is kind of like the peek around stack. So you have your dog stacked and then we teach you how to like peek around and look at it from the judge's perspective because really we're trying to teach you that you need to know what it looks like on your side, but the most important thing is what does it look like to the judge? Um, so some of the other questions that we get are, um, Oh, dogs that are free baiting, especially small breeds. So we get this written to us all the time, but especially with small breeds, people are trying to teach their dogs how to free stack and the dogs are always like sitting down, right? Or they uh, don't really understand the free stack. So we teach you how to use happy legs, how to use stack boxes, how to teach the free bait, how to use your dance space and your dog's dance space to create that free bait. Also hand placement is so vitally important when it comes to free stacking. So many people are teaching their dog to free stack with their hand up here. And that's actually a cue to teach your dog to sit, which is why your dog is sitting during the free stack. So we always want you to keep your hand like at nose level or even below so that your dog isn't sitting during the free stack. Um, and then some other questions that we get is, Oh, dogs that come back on the free stack and they're wagging their tail, but they're not wagging their tail up where it should be for the desired breed. So this could be a poodle, this could be like Springer Spaniels, Cocker Spaniels, Setters, English Setters are famous for it. But any breed where you just want that Karen Terriers, all the Terriers, they need to come back and free bait with that tail jammed right up there. So how do we do that? How do we teach that? So that's a hard thing to teach, especially if your dog is happy, but we teach you to teach your dog a trick right so that teach your dog a trick so that when it gets back it's excited and they have that tail right up there we have a few other things that we teach but i'm not going to give away all of my answers today um we get a lot of questions about foot trimming 
So Australian Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, um, just many, many, many dogs. We get lots and lots of questions about foot trimming. So we have several foot trimming demos for you. Different ways to trim the feet to make good feet look fantastic to make feet that are maybe a little bit flatter or not ideal for your breed how to do that we have toenail tutorials because part of shaping that foot is also the shape and length of those toenails very 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 important and then we also do um, what kind of shears we recommend. We do pro uh, curated shopping lists. You tell us your breed and then we kind of tell you what products we suggest for maintenance, what products we suggest for show and what products we suggest for tools. Like what tools do you need? What dryers, what shears, what lengths should your shears be? How to pick the correct shear. And then finally, uh, one of the things that we do spend a lot of time answering and talking about that I wanted to talk about and kind of close this video off with was grooming your dog, grooming the natural dog or the untrimmed dog and how some people, they show up with a dog that it says maybe their dog should be shown naturally and they get there and they realize that all of their competitors have so many lotions and potions and they don't. Well, untrimmed or shown naturally is much, much, much different from an ungroomed dog, right? Dogs at dog shows need to be well-groomed. That means they need to be bathed, dried absolutely properly so that their hair looks fantastic. You couldn't just take Ellie Mae in here at this if she was an untrimmed breed because she hasn't had a bath in a week, right? So your untrimmed dogs or your dogs that are shown naturally, it is still vital that they are well-groomed. And this is just a sampling of the many, many, many questions that we answer during our webinars, during our summer webinar series. Also things that you can just find at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And as always, we invite you to send us in more questions. We invite you to participate in our webinars and send us in a question. And, and not only will you get it answered professionally within our webinar, but who knows, you might get a little guest spot on one of our YouTube videos. So I really hope that this just helped explain some of the questions that were answered. And I mean, obviously that is just a dip in the ocean, right? I mean, we literally field um, up to about a hundred questions a week and we're more than happy to answer them. That's why we're here. We're here to bring the knowledge to you, right? We think that too many times people that are new to the sport or even people that have been in the sport a, for a very long time think that we want to keep these things a secret. But here at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, we want to demystify it. We want to tell you how to do it. No matter what your skill level, we have people who have shown dogs for years and years and years. We have people who have never been in a dog show ring and we want to help all of you and we have helped people win their first best in show and we've helped people get their first champion and we've helped junior handlers win their first first place ribbon and we would love to help you as well so next time you have some questions about anything dog dog show related breeding related whatever it is please reach out to us at leadingedgedogshowacademy.com thanks so much for your time hi guys i hope you enjoyed today's video please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon. Bye.